Enlar is a weapon, it's an anti-tank weapon, designed by Saab uh, in Sweden, uh, but we manufacture it under license from Saab here in Belfast. We've had a partnership for nearly 20 years now. Now, in our Belfast facility, there are no explosive elements whatsoever here, uh, so we manufacture uh, all of the components that put a missile, uh, allow you to put a missile together, but at a remote facility, maybe 20 kilometers from here, that's where we put our warheads and our rocket motors and put our final missile together and do final tests before shipping to customers. In this factory, we manufacture the canisters. Now, canister makes it sound easy. It's a complex piece of equipment. It has built into a sighting system. Uh, there's a lot of intricacy with regard to additional capability built into the canister. But within that canister, the, the Enlon missile uh, on, on trigger pull burns out entirely, with, or the first stage burns out entirely within the canister. Uh, that allows the operator to be protected before the second stage motor ignites. So I'll just show you the uh, Enlon canister here. And I'm picking this up, it's, it's empty, as you can probably see, and that's what makes it nice and light, and I can pick it up. Uh, but there's lots of, of additional elements put on here, from trigger mechanisms, to handles, to sighting systems, electronics built in. When we receive uh, the components that come into the factory, in essence, it's a blank cylinder, and we put everything else on. A lot of those components are provided to us directly by Saab, uh, other components we have to purchase externally ourselves. Uh, but the overall weapon system then is finally put together, final assembly in our remote location. I can't go into detail because that's a closely guarded secret by, by Saab and rightly so, because we only put the, the assembly together. But you'll see there is a first stage motor which attaches at the rear end. That's to boost the missile out to a safe distance from the operator before the second stage motor ignites. You'll notice that there's a bulge at the front end of the, the weapon. And that's because unlike our Talos missiles which rotate in flight, this flies like an aircraft. So it flies straight and level. Uh, obviously it, it can maneuver to address moving targets. But there are clever sensors at the front end which determine where you are in relation to a tank target. And in the modern era, there are two ways of, of addressing and defeating tanks. You can uh, perform overtop attack, or you can actually address lessly armored or lesser armored vehicles through the side. Uh, overtop attack, that's why the bulge is here. The warhead always points down, so when you fly over the top of a tank or a heavily armored APC, then you explode down in through the weakest part of that, uh, that frame, which is always the turret or the cupola. It's still the only single person carry anti-tank weapon which will defeat a main battle tank. It's a phenomenal piece of equipment uh, and it just doesn't exist anywhere else. Most weapon systems that defeat tanks require a couple of people to, to carry and to set up. This is highly mobile uh, and it does a fantastic job.